So in this video series, we will try to discuss the questions that have appeared in this year mains examination regarding the security section. So basically four questions are from, from the security section and the weightage of the security in the GS paper 3 has remained more or less similar. The questions were on the expected lines with a tinge of what has been mentioned in the syllabus and also with reference to the current affairs that has happened in the recent one year. So the security was more or less on an expected line. The first question that we have seen this year in security is regarding the use of the UAVs. The question here says that the use of UAVs by our adversaries across the border to ferry arms and ammunition, drug, etc. is a serious threat to the internal security for India. The question further says that comment on the measures that are being taken to tackle this threat. So basically this was a 10 marker question and we have to mention about the steps that the Indian government or the Indian security forces have taken to tackle the threat coming from the unmanned aerial vehicles. So we will start our question with basically a discussion on what basically is unmanned aerial vehicle and how it is being now used both by the security agencies but also by the non-state actors to create a security situation in India. So the introduction here involves that with the capability of real-time intelligence, surveillance facility and the reconnaissance, UAVs have become significant for both the militaries as well as the non-state actors alike. And to address the imminent threat from UAVs, various measures have been implemented. So now in the body part, we will basically have the steps that have been taken by the government. Now government in this regard has recognized the importance to tackle the threats coming from the UAVs and has taken various steps. The first step that has been taken by the government is related to the launch of advanced surveillance and detection technology. This is done by deploying state-of-the-art surveillance technology mechanism which includes radar system, thermal imaging, acoustic sensors along the borders to detect the UAV intrusions. For example, the BSF uses the ground-based radar system for the drone detection. So this is the first importance or the first step that has been taken by the government to deter the challenges coming from the UAVs. Second is the collaboration among the multiple agencies that are basically responsible for securing India's interest. And this involves collaboration between agencies like that of BSF, Indian Army and also local police which will involve intelligence sharing and resource for countering the UAV threats. Now. The third step that India has taken is to deal the issue on a bilateral level for which we have imported the technology from Israel. And this technology is in the form of Smash 2000 entry drone system which India has bought from Israel. Next is to ensure that the security threat is completely neutralized from the UAVs, India has launched the Digital Sky Platform Initiative of its own. Now under this Digital Sky Platform, the drone operators are required to obtain necessary permission and approvals which will help that only authorized drones are being allowed to operate and reducing the risk of illicit drone activities. And the last method that have been indigenously developed by the DRDO in this regard is the drone detect, deter and destroy system that is the D4S which is developed by DRDO indigenously. This is basically an anti-drone system with the capability to detect rogue drones and instantly jam the micro drones also. So with this we can understand that India has taken a variety of steps which collectively contribute in ensuring the security threats that are coming from the use of unmanned aerial vehicles. 